Appalachian Wireless makes it easy and affordable to tech the halls through Black Friday. Get an iPhone 13, 128 gig for only a penny with trade-in on a two-year contract on the mix and match or unlimited plan. Plus, no activation fee. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. After being recruited by the University of Pikeville for her archery skills, Allison Appleby of Sherman, Texas, decided to make the move to Pikeville, Kentucky this summer. Now, Appleby is suing the university for disability discrimination. Appleby suffers from epilepsy and must bring her service dog, Brady, to school. She said U Pike assured her that this would be of no issue, but just two days after moving into her dorm, Brady became extremely ill. We had our first team meeting on Sunday. Things seemed great, and my dog started getting horribly ill to the point where I genuinely thought the dog was going to die. He was throwing up blood. He was lethargic. He wasn't alerting me. I was sick. It was a whole issue. After three trips to the vet with no answers, the vet suggested it may be environmental, which is when Appleby says she discovered a large amount of mold in her dorm. I go back to my dorm, look around, and sure enough, there is mold growing on the walls in the corners of the room. And of course, on the floor around where his crate was, where he was sleeping at night, um, it was growing in between the cracks on the wood. It was growing in the shower, in the bathroom. It was to the point where there were mushrooms growing in the walls because the mold was so bad. So I scheduled a meeting with the school. It was the coaches, the dean of retention, public safety, um, the head of access disabilities resources, and we talk it over and they said, we will test for black mold and we'll move your dorm. However, after being assigned to a new dorm, Brady was still very sick and unable to alert her, which led to Appleby having eight seizures in four hours. Appleby opted to stay with friends in a different dorm the following night, and she said Brady was no longer sick. She then requested another room. So I went back to the school and I asked, I said, hey, can we move dorms? Because this is... He's fine in the other dorms. We scheduled a meeting with the dean that Monday, and the meeting was 15 minutes. It started with us trying to figure it out, but the dean finished by saying, I'll just zero you out. Maybe college isn't for you. Um, he proceeded to tell me that I cannot expect to be accommodated for my disability, and in the real world, that won't happen. He told me that if I am really that sick, I shouldn't be at school to begin with. He told me that if the school, if I were to have a seizure, the school would be held responsible, which is not true. And he can't take that risk. And I am a liability. And he told me that it was in my best interest to go home. According to the lawsuit, Assistant Provost of Retention Mathis Myers also stated she did not need to make any arrangements for her to stay at U-Pike because they are just a small farm school without financial resources to remediate the mold problem. Basically, what the ADA says is, um, you, you know, private schools such as U-Pike um, have a duty to treat all students the same, regardless of their physical disability. And if the student has a disability, but can attend school normally, so long as they're given a reasonable accommodation, um, then the school has an obligation to that and make that accommodation a reality. Uh, and we certainly don't think um, asking them to fix the mold problem was unreasonable. Following her withdrawal from U-Pike, Appleby stated she was left with damage to her health and reputation, leading her to sue the university for discrimination. I don't want anyone else to have to go through what I did. I really thought about suing. It was one of those things that I was torn because I didn't want to open a can of worms. But at the end of the day, I want to prevent this from happening to anyone else at the school. I don't want anyone else to have to pack up and come home from college after getting a huge scholarship and thinking, wow, I've got it made. I, this is my future. I'm ready for this. And kind of having your dreams crushed after five days. Appleby says, despite the issues she has faced and the damage to her reputation, she plans to attend Texas A&M in the spring. We reached out to the University of Pikeville for comment on the lawsuit, but have not heard back. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.